Well, good morning. What are the pros and cons of waiving a home inspection? What tips can improve your offer in this hot seller's market? And we still are in a hot seller's market. Tune in and find out. Welcome right. to Morning Coffee with Miko and April. I'm Miko. And I'm April. Thank you for joining us. And just want to let you know we do specialize in the Orchid Santa Maria area for single yep. family homes and condominiums. Call uh, us anytime. Yeah. We're available for you. Yes, and today, uh, our topic today is, um, you know, wait, should you waive a home inspection or should you not? And also our May statistics. Waiving a home inspection would, would make your offer more competitive. Right. It is a very competitive market right now with all, you know, these multiple offers coming in. And, you know, you want to make it as strong as possible and get that property. And so waiving a home inspection will, you know, strengthen your offer. Now, it might be easier or um, maybe easier is not the word, but um, less risky on a newer home. Correct. So, you know, on a 1950 home, I would I would not advise waiving a home inspection. I it's, think there's too much risk there of yes. what you don't know. Well, that, yeah. And so we're, as agents, you know, we were there to protect you buyers, you know, as far right. as, you know, we want you the best for you. And especially if you are a first time home buyer, that might be, you know, a little bit more on the risk side too, just because you don't, you haven't been a homeowner before. So you're coming into a house and you're going to be, you know, have to take care of some things. A lot are, of things and it and, can uh, be kind of expensive. Yes. So, so it depends on your situation, but, and we typically will don't really want to recommend no. waiving a home inspection at all. Um, some of the, the cons are going to be, you know, getting into the house and finding out something that's, you know, detrimental. Or if yes. you still have a home inspection, even though you've waived it, just to know what you're getting into, you know, you, you face losing the deposit if you cancel because of the home inspection. After so, waiving it. After waiving it, yeah. yes. Yeah. So there's a couple of things to bring to your attention. And as always, we're always available for questions if you have anything further you'd like to discuss. Yeah, and I mean, there's other ways you can strengthen your offer, you know, like reducing the time uh, that you need to do inspections mm -hmm. is one way. Um, perhaps, um, you know, shortening the, or not having an appraisal contingency if, you know, oh. the, you know, but there's, and, and having, you know, a, a underwritten pre-approval instead of just a pre-qualification or pre-approval, where actually the underwriter of the, the financial institution has completely approved you based on the property, yeah. or based um, contingent on the property that you find. But um, if you have any other questions, yeah. Yeah, um, we're always uh, here for you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So on to the, the May stats, there were uh, 50 active single family homes, and there were 11 under contract. Under contract means um, the, uh, about the same as pending, and pending at 72 and closed, where you actually get the key, was 48. Okay, and condominiums in the Santa Maria Orchid area we're talking about um, for May, uh, there were seven actives, uh, eight under contract, uh, excuse me, three under contract and pending five. So eight, you know, went into escrow and nine closed yeah. uh, in the month of May. So, so the condominium market is a little bit down from the past months, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, again, we're still, you know, still a seller's market. We still have limited inventory. And I think that condo people, if you're interested in a move up to a little single family home, that would be a good time now. Yes, it would be. So, and we've seen a little bit less buyer activity just to, due to, you know, raising interest rates. However, they did dip a little bit yes, last did. week. And mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens with that. Um, and if you have any other questions or would like to get in touch with me, my number is 805-878-5056. And I'm at 805-714-8124. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.